Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pop. This is video number 14, a tutorial about Unicenta, the point of sale cash register program which you can download for free for Linux Ubuntu. In this tutorial, which is number 14, I am going to be talking about a new topic. To review, let me go back to the prior topics. I'm going to go to stock. And in stock, we've got all the stuff in our warehouse in products. And we've got them divided up into the main categories. And in the prior video, I talked about auxiliary products. These are children belonging to parents. And let me go back to the sales screen now. And we're going to just review real quick. Over here, these are the categories. And I've got a category here called order, how cooked, condiments, and breaks. And if you go to the stock screen, you can see where the categories are. Condiments, how cooked, breaks, and so forth. Back to sales. I'm going to order. And I'm going to order a hamburger. And what I have here that has popped up is a subsidiary screen that just popped up that when I select burger, which is a parent, it automatically picks this child screen and then I select from wheat or white or veggie and then I can go to the next category how cooked and how cooked is not involved at all with the parent child stuff nor is condiments this is a category and these are just products in that category but in order when I selected burger the burger pops up the child now I want to talk about something completely different now that we've reviewed that. In the stock screen there is something else called product attributes and there are actually four icons that progress sort of logically. The attributes you could think of as something like if you were selling shirts you would want size attributes and over here you would have small, medium, and large. The shirt may also have a color. This is the color attribute. And over here, the attribute values would be red, green, and blue. Now here, you can put product attribute sets together. You could put together color and size. And then here, this is what appears on the screen as a pop-up. So let me demonstrate that again, because I've got one of them cooking. And in fact, I'll go to the stock screen and product screen, and we're going to look at burger. And down here in the attributes, I've got bun and condiment. I've got bun, wheat, or white, and then the different kinds of condiments. So let's go to sales. And we're going to go to the correct category, and I've got my hamburger in the order category and I'm going to hit burger and now look it did go over to the child screen but that's not what I'm talking about right now right now I'm talking about this the attributes and it looks like a little manila tag and when I tap it boom I get all of these different attributes in fact there's so many of them I need to enlarge this and the way they work is kind of neat because when I hit bun, I select one of them. When I hit how cooked, I select one of them. But on the other ones, they only have a single choice. I mean, here I could have said the two or three or four different kinds of hot sauce if I wanted to, but I just have one. Now this is vitamin J for those of you who do not know jalapenos. Ketchup and if you do not want to add one you just leave it blank and then when you're done you say okay let me go ahead and add all of them and I'll show you that there's a space problem and this is just a minor thing and it may be fixable I do not know how I don't know how to program or anything I hit OK and you see what I'm talking about with a space program uh, a, a space problem uh, wheat medium rare hot and then down here you can't read read that but if you purchase it and uh, you say okay you can go to the printer 
and when you go to the printer you can see that all of it fits up to a single line it does not show the rest it truncates it's all on a single line and then it cuts off on the screen itself it showed everything up to this point two lines deep and then it cut off the second line I don't know how to fix that now here's some things if you do it this way there are some advantages and there are some uh, disadvantages for one thing when the guy is doing the order he can't say give me double hot sauce you can't hit it twice if he says halfway through jal jalapenos then he says no I don't want jalapenos you can't take it off there's no way to, t to delete it so there's some advantages and disadvantages also you cannot add a dollar figure to this if there is say cheese so let me go back to the sales screen and I'm going to uh, contrast that with doing it the old-fashioned way where I go burger wheat and then on the condiments you see well I'll go how, how cooked I guess medium and then uh, on condiments I'm going to pick cheese now see I could charge extra money for the cheese and here I did 25 cents plus tax quite often they charge extra for cheese and so forth um, now I want to go to the stock screen and show you what the values themselves look like when I go to product attributes icon and tap it I've got all these different uh, uh, product attributes now here this one is called size this one is called color this one is called bun and then the individual ones that did not have uh, sort of bifurcated values like mustard, onions, uh, how cooked had several values and then this one is size and color and then ketchup, hot sauce, they're not in order, pickles, mayo, and jalapenos. Okay that's that screen. Now when I go back to the next one where we've got product values here I'll pick the attributes, the screen we were just at and you'll see that there are two values for bun and for color three values and you can add new ones how cooked had several values but hot sauce hey just one value okay so far so good you're with me I hope we had product attributes that would be like color or size and here we would have red green blue or small medium and large but now here this is interesting in this one you could group together multiple product attributes so over here uh, I've got this one it is called red blue green and this one small medium and large but this one is called small medium large red blue green that's that's sizes and colors and here I've got condiments by itself, bun by itself, but here this one is bun and condiments. So let's go to that screen. And that is the product attribute use. So if I were to select the attribute set bun, that's what it's got. If I go to bun and condiments, it's going to show all this stuff. Remember, it, it had bun and asked me wheat or white, how cooked, and it asked me uh, uh, rare, medium, and so forth. And then these were by themselves. Now notice as I go down, there's a number, and that shows what line it's going to be on, and you can change what order they are all in. You can change all of this stuff around at will. Now once you get a business running, you would not change it around very much at all. In fact, the more you goof with something the more apt it is to break so get it set and then don't mess with it I'm going to go to stock <clears throat> I'm going to pick up burger and I've got here under bun and condiment and I'm just gonna pretend it's a shirt there for a second and I'm gonna call it small medium large red blue green say okay I think this is going to work let's see I'm gonna go to order and I'm gonna go to burger which is now a shirt and I'm gonna hit the manila tag boom what color do you want on that burger sir I want a blue burger and I would like to have a large blue burger okay 
and then at the bottom it says blue and large and that's how this works now you will have to fuss with it a considerable amount make lots and lots and lots of mistakes but you can see how it works in the main personally I like the KISS approach keep it simple and stupid just put everything in your products and either a zero dollar value or a small amount when you add each item and I would not use this too much because you're adding needless complexity to the system and you'll have to admit so far this is the most complicated thing to do with Unicenta. My name is Pop and I've got a whole bunch of videos on YouTube called Ubuntu Basics and I have been making a series about Unicenta and this has been video number 14 I think and I thank you very much.